time. And this is a good base for your um, shoes, but you know, the texture is pretty soft on it. You need way more mesh to represent that. That looks really too stiff. You know, you need to increase your mesh big time uh, pretty much to that level, pretty much. All right. And you see right away, it looks better already. And I haven't touched anything besides adding a loop. Uh, so you need to do that and run it up more, uh, flat up the top. And grab the top and scale it to clean it up the way you like. Even maybe do another extrude uh, to really go around it right there. All right, so that that's possible. Selection to face, and I don't want this. So you would select these right here, basically. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So you press that. You would right click, go to the face level, and start making your face. And start extruding it up. So you can face extrude. Right. Oh, that's true. On the 16, it's in there. Right here. In 15, you get it right here. I've got it in the main menu right there. I'm going to be careful with that. And you can uh, redo what you add, for example, by scaling it down to recreate a little edge. For example, and you can even bring it down after that. And I selected one. Probably I'll do that. Here. Bring it down if you need to. All right. So work on that. You need to add more on that. Let me look at your hand. Your hand is actually pretty good. I kind of like it. Uh, you need diamonds on the knuckles also. That's a good idea to have that. So the hand is an A, the feet are B, uh, so I'll give you a small A for both of them. Uh, but work on the on the feet like I just showed you, okay? And the hand, the thumb could be worked better than that. You need to add nails, like I said, as their own part. Just take a plane and bend it. That takes seconds. Uh, uh, on the thumb, I would um, I would rework it a little bit. It's not it's still flat, I think. So you might just uh, scale it a little bit. No, oh, I've got some of them. So do that, and uh, but it's a little A. You got it. 